Yeah, my Kamehameha is stronger. Boy, don't disrespect. Yeah. Ah, no. Ah. I like the exploding yellow effect for the blast attacks. I'm surprised no one's done that in Flash animation. Well, I know there are a few that have, but I mean, as well as the game has done it itself. Oh my god, the lag. The heater turns on in this game freaking lags. I hate that electric heater. Uh, oh my goodness. Die, go on. Locked. I got you locked in the blast battle. Ah, he falcon punched me, and then did the super. Con oh my, oh my god! Look at the Gohan. Why, why Gohan? Why? After the horrible battle, all of the warriors return home, all except for Goku, who went to train Ubu. Okay, I believe the I believe Gohan versus Gohan with Goku is the last battle, but he's too difficult. Actually no. No, it's Gohan versus Vegito that is the final battle. My bad. But like I couldn't do it. You saw it. Unless I use save states. So Let's say the best fight for last, right? Staffed. Thus, this game is beaten. This game wasn't hard, it was rather fun. Just, Boo was annoying, Cell was annoying, Frieza was a piece of cake, and Kid Boo was not as annoying as he should have been. He should have been like Cell annoying. You'll know why Cell is annoying in the next one. I mean, in the extras, where you see all the failed attempts. But anyway. This game was fun. Probably one of the best DBZ games on the SNES. I have not played the Boot 10 series yet, but I will eventually. But after this game, I think I might have a really nice treat for you guys. This was. This is a great way to break myself back in LP because seriously, I seriously thought about quitting like six times. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to do this, I quit. I'm like, oh my god, Final Fantasy, you're unfair, I quit. And I was like, no, I can do this. I just need a break from those games is all. And I do. I really need a long vacation from those games. Those games were my sanity. I effed up the save four times. Had to play through the game from beginning all the way up to the point I was at. Because I accidentally screwed up. Then it was one time I was in the gameplay I was trying to say then the GameCube just glitched for no reason like it was just like yeah, and all that crap since all that happened my data got lean. I was like damn it corrupt I'm like okay I'll play through this game again I'm all the way back to where I was and I'm like oh my god I need a vacation that never happened with DBZ though DBZ is just playing err is rage inducing because I didn't have any good items. I was just dying. Anyway, Vegito, Vegeta, Cell, Frieza. You say, you say, let's kick this dude in overdrive. Boo and Mr. Boo, Kozo Shiwa. Goku's giving you a high five. Vegeta and Piccolo are giving you the cold shoulder. Up oh, and then there's Fat Boo. This is the fattest guy in the bunch. Look at him. Piccolo, if you look at Piccolo's face, it looks like he's plotting to kill Goku. He's like, I want to reach out and strangle this dumb motherfucker right now. Vegeta's like, yeah, not if I do it first. Boo's like, let's be friends. Or I'll eat you. But, yes. I am a huge DBZ fan. Well, not.
not a huge DBZ fan. I'm just a fan of the games mainly, cause the anime got kind of boring after after the Boo Saga. As soon as GT kicked down, I was like after this series. It's, I mean, it's not that I hate the GT series. It's more or less I hate what they did to the characters. Goes like Gohan, who is my favorite character, even though he became a punk in the Boo Saga, he got his strength back. So I didn't care about that. But after the Boo Saga, there was so much peace that everyone stopped training except for Goku and Uru. I was like, dang it, are these the only two strong people in the series? Dang, even Vegeta slacked off and grew a mustache, which was hilarious. Vegeta grew a mustache. That was the funniest thing I ever seen, ever. Made my week. I was like, look, it's Vegeta with a porno mustache. Trunks? Well, yeah, I could expect Trunks to be weak because, you know, like, the only Trunks that was strong was the one that was from the future, so he was the only Trunks I like, future Trunks. But now I'm being trolled by future Trunks because I can't find a game that he ain't in. It's like every time I look for a DVZ game, Look at the character Ross of Future Trunks. I'm like, damn, why can't they have GT Trunks? Because I'd rather play against the weaker Trunks. Because the weaker Trunks... I don't know. I'm weird. And then there's Goten. Goten. He became a ladies man. He completely abandoned fighting altogether. Chi Chi got old. They had a daughter named Gra. Bulla, as they changed the name. But, uh, Project DBZ. But yeah. And she was, like, the weakest Saiyan of all the Saiyans in the entire series. Oob is, like, the second strongest character in the entire show. What is this? Symbolism! Sorry, I had to be Dragon Balls. Dragon, Dragon, Rock, Dragon, Dragon Balls. The balls turn to stone. The balls are inert, Gohan. The balls are inert. Thus ending this game. Next game, my LP, you will see. I'll do, I don't know, I guess uh, the opening sequence to the game. What, you know what? It'll be a surprise there. I'll just upload it randomly. You'll be like, what the hell is he the LP now? And I'm like, that's right, bitches. You know what it is. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. I would do a quick review of this game, but like I said before, I like this game. This is probably one of the best Dragon Ball Z games on the Super Nintendo, besides the Bootin series, which I haven't played. I don't play Bootin anymore. So don't kill me. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Lily7. Peace. I'm out.